Hello, welcome back. I'm going to try another read, and this time I'm going to go to the student pile of reads with which I'm completely unfamiliar and have no background with. So, let's see what this one is doing. First question, is the read too open or too closed? <laughs> very, very closed. Okay, now, is the read responding or tapering? Okay, I think that is a no. It is not. It's doing neither. Now, I'm going to answer, is the E, F, or C sharp dropping? No, they're not. Now, is it sharp or flat? Let's put on my tuner and play that F major scale to see where it is generally playing. consistently sharp. Now, I'd like to know if the low register is responding. Let's see. I wonder. It is not responding very well in the low register, clearly. Now, I'd like to see if it is closing up in the high register. It is definitely leaning towards closing up in the high register. That hesitancy indicates to me that it really wants to close up with the engagement of my embouchure for the high register. Now, is it stuffy, meaning is it not vibrating enough? I would say definitely. It is definitely stuffy and it is not too wild, meaning it is not vibrating too much. If anything, it is not vibrating enough. So let's review. It is too closed. It is not responding or tapering. The E, F, and C sharp are not dropping. It's sharp. The low register is not responding well. The high register is closing up and it is stuffy. In other words, this read is stuffy, unresponsive, and sharp. Let's see if I can improve upon that. Okay, uh, as we've learned about this read through the eight questions, it is stuffy, unresponsive, and sharp. So, to me that tells me that the read needs to be weakened. Now, before I start doing anything to this read, I want to address the issue of it closing up in the high register. Obviously, if I weaken the read further, it will exacerbate that problem. Therefore, I had to, and I'm sure every single one of you at some point, we have to make a decision and we have to make a choice as to what aspects or aspect of this read we want to improve upon and which ones we're willing to sacrifice. I feel that if I have a read that's less stuffy, more in tune, and more responsive, I can find more uses for it and more contexts where it will play well rather than a read that purely favors the high register. Therefore, I'm deciding to address the stuffiness, the sharpness, and the non-responsiveness. Now, if I had to play something ridiculously high, I might decide to use this read to sacrifice all of that and to use it for a very, very, very high solo. For example, perhaps uh, the Symphonic Dances of West Side Story, and to try to help the high register. However, 
for the purposes of this video and for general playing purposes, I want to make this read less stuffy, less sharp, and more responsive. So the first thing I'm going to do, as always, is look at the wires. Now, I can see that this student really put this first wire on incredibly poorly. So I want to change that. The first wire, well, all wires really, should conform perfectly to the shape and to the contours of the tube of the reed, the tube of the reed. If there are any gaps, as there are right here, then the uh, wire alterations, meaning squeezing from the sides or crushing from the top or the bottom, will have less of an effect on the tip opening. And we want it to have as great effect on the tip opening as possible. And that means having a first wire that perfectly conforms to the shape of the tube. So I'm going to remove this first wire like this. I'm going to just, just take it off. I don't want it on there anymore. Oh my god, it doesn't want to come off, but guess what? I'm bringing it off. And I'm going to put a new first wire on. What I do is I, there are many different ways to put on a first wire and I'll just demonstrate how I do it. I like to start out with basically one third of the wire on the left side, this is because I'm right handed, and two thirds of the wire on the right side. And while holding the wire firmly in place with my left forefinger on the long mandrel, I wrap around the wire holding it very taut against the shape of the tube. And then I twist it a few times. So it's like this. Then I cut a little excess off for good luck. And I make sure it's in the right place. Uh, I can see that it's about in the same place. It's about 5 sixteenths between the middle of the second wire and the middle of the first wire. And then I will tighten it by pulling out and closing the gap only, not twisting past this and mashing it together. Once again, pulling it out. I want the, the wire snug but not constricting. Then I see if it can wiggle and it's nice and snug, so I clip off a little bit more, and I bend it down. There. Now the first wire is as it should be, perfectly conforming to the shape of the tube and with no gaps. Okay, now, once again, the reed is stuffy, sharp, and unresponsive. So, what I want to do is take cane off of this area generally speaking, which is usually referred to as the heart of the reed. I feel that it is too strong and it is not tapering enough from back to front or from center to sides. It's a little too strong and a little too prominent. On both sides, I think it is easily discernible here that the reed is collapsing tremendously along the channels of this blade, making the center, the heart, far too prominent. The taper is not even enough. So I'm going to take my reed knife and I'm just going to, again, without a scooping motion, but with a sort of gliding motion, integrate the heart into the side tapers. Okay, I don't like to think that I'm gouging out of it, but rather integrating it into the taper, the dramatic taper that's already in the sides. Again, as you can see where I'm taking what off, a little closer to the tip, then I move back, and in the same area, I take cane off and go over the previous area again, thus maintaining the integrity of my tapers, and go back, and go back again. We'll see whether this can be salvaged and whether this reed improves or not, but this is more than likely 
what you'll be doing if a read is stuffy, sharp, and unresponsive. Usually I like to make sure that the heart is not too heavy, preventing the read from vibrating effectively. Once again, there are many, many, many instances in playing the bassoon in the orchestral, solo, and chamber music repertoire where a reed would do better if it was responsive, in tune, and not stuffy. So I think it is very, 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 very important that the integrity of the tapers, especially in the front third, be meticulously observed. And if something is amiss, it be corrected, as we are doing right now. Once again, I'm just going over these areas, this heart, just to make sure that the tapers are a little bit more integrated. Okay, let's see how it's playing now. Usually, I like to put a reed in the water a little bit after I've worked on it, lest it dry it out. Okay, now that I have uh, weakened the heart of the reed, let's see if it's any less stuffy, if it's a little bit more responsive, and a little bit less sharp. Again. After doing anything to the read, what I usually like to do is answer the first question. Is it too open or too closed? I think that the tip opening is Reverging on a little too closed, but again, I did not address that too much uh, in the wire manipulation. I just changed the first wire. You'll also observe that the reed is tending to close up in the high register. I'll, tr I'll answer that question right now just to prove that point. You can hear the hesitancy of this reed. It still does not want to uh, play very well. It still wants to close up in the high register. This does not surprise me because I did not address this. I did not try to strengthen the reed. Instead, I tried to weaken it to see if the response can be any better. Once again, I am not trying to make this reed have the ideal response that I would ultimately want from my best reads. Not every piece of cane will give you that, but I just want to see if I can get it any better. Okay, so let's see if it's responding any better. I'm going to put on my tuner and answer that question. <laughs> I think we can agree that the response is improved. It's only a teeny tiny bit sharp, which tells me that it can be improved even more, but I'm going to hold back on that for right now. I'd like to see how it's responding in the low register, just out of curiosity. I think we can agree that it is much improved in uh, the low register. Now, I would also like to say that I feel that the reed is far less stuffy than it once was. Uh, it's not wild by any means, but it is vibrating far more than it did. At this point, uh, I would also like to, before I make a judgment on how I'd like to use this reed, I would like to check the intonation. Always important to do that, always. Let's try that um, to see whether the reed is sitting, generally speaking, on the low side of the pitch or the high side of the pitch. Now this is very interesting. The reed 
is now extremely flat. Extremely is probably too harsh a word. It's pretty flat. It's a lot flatter than it was before. So now that the sharpness has been remedied, another problem has crept in. It is flat, which is also somewhat unacceptable. However, the response has improved to the point where I believe I can comfortably practice on it. And it's not stuffy, so that again, I feel like I can comfortably practice on it. I have decided that I'm not going to worry about the upper register because I feel that this piece of cane would never favor that anyway. So I'm at peace with that. And also, I've decided that the low register is much improved. Now, what I could do is strengthen the reed, probably by opening the first wire to maybe bring the pitch up. But there's another thing that I can do that will bring the pitch up, and that is play on the reed. I think that with this reed, what I'd like to do is play on it for a while, half hour to an hour, and see if that corrects the pitch. Oftentimes, uh, playing on a reed will harden it up, it will raise the pitch, and it will tame any wildness that lies within. So that can be a very, very, very effective way of correcting some of those issues in conjunction with altering the reed, whether it be through wires or removing cane. So what I would do with this reed at this point is purely play things, for example, shall we say technical passages, uh, in the middle to low register, uh, ignoring the high register, and reserve this read for those contexts and to see if the pitch will raise. If after an hour of playing the read is still flat, then I will open the first wire or adjust the wires based on the pitch of the read and whether it's too open or too closed. And that's what I would do with this particular read. Thank you.